So is Tenet a sequel to Inception or Interstellar, or is it a movie that is completely on its own? Just another movie that Christopher Nolan creates that is... You know, just kind of within its, it could be, it's just completely and 100% its own thing. Let's talk about that. Because I got my own theory on it, guys. Uh, you know, Inception, one of the best movies ever made, in my opinion. One of my favorite movies. And Interstellar, one of, another one of my favorite movies ever made. I mean, they're, they're both so good in their own right. And I, I do think that Interstellar is the best space movie that I've ever seen. It was just absolutely, uh, incredibly put together. And Inception, even though Inception, you know, kind of ended on somewhat of a cliffhanger, it wasn't even, you know, even close to the cliffhanger that was left, that was left to us in Interstellar. So many people are jumping on this notion that Tenet could be a sequel to Inception. And guys, I would be completely cool with an Inception sequel in the form of Tenet. Believe me, I think that would be absolutely awesome. I would I would love that idea. I think I think it's a great idea. I also kind of like the idea though, even though I, I love the idea of, of this being a, a sequel to one of his movies, I also would kind of like the idea of Tenet maybe just being its own thing. But at the same time, I think, you know, when I when I look at a movie like uh, M. Night Shyamalan, who does, he's done a number of different, more along the lines of horror movies, but some thrillers, you know, I, I really liked, you know, uh, his, his movie Unstoppable that came out, um, or Unbreakable. When that came out, you know, it was a great movie. And then, of course, you know, years later, he comes out with a sequel to it. Uh, and, you know, I, I thought that that was really neat that he did that, you know, years later coming out with a sequel, um, for the movie and people didn't even know people had no idea that this was a sequel to one of, uh, one of M night Shyamalan's earlier movies. And it just added a lot of buzz and it got a lot of excitement. And, you know, then they, of course they finished off like a trilogy for it with, with glass, but this is a movie, and Christopher Nolan's a guy who, it doesn't really seem like he's one of those guys who really wants to stick much with like a, a specific, one specific franchise. He just likes to make individual movies that are talked about for years and years. And in my opinion, Tenet, if it is a part of a sequel to either one like Interstellar or Inception, I would have to go with Interstellar because of the way Interstellar ended. I thought that the ending of Interstellar was so, oh yeah, there has to be a sequel to this. You know, uh, basically there's, you know, she, uh, uh, what was her name? <laughs> I forget her character name in it. But anyway, they're talking about, uh, or Matthew McConaughey's daughter in the movie um, was at the very end, had like a voiceover where she's talking about how, she is on another, there's a, you know, she's out there somewhere, you know, getting ready for the long nap. And they give you the impression that Matthew McConaughey gets in the, into, you know, the, um, gets into the ship and he's going to head out there to go find her. And so it was a significant cliffhanger. It has everything to do with time and, and, and all of that because of, you know, when you're on one planet, you know, an hour on one planet is like 10 years here on Earth. And so there was just a lot of like the time, you know, and, and different dimensions and, and things of that nature that really came into Interstellar. That's why I think that there's a better chance that it is a sequel of Interstellar than Inception. And I'm not saying that, look. I'm not saying Interstellar is better than Inception. I like both these movies about equally, and I, I would love to explore more in both of those worlds, right? I really would. I'd like to explore more Interstellar because seeing more planets and, and, and you know, kind of just seeing where it kind of goes. And then Inception, the same exact thing. You know, what happens to Hobbes? You know, what, what you know... Does, does he come, does he, is he actually back in reality or is it, you know, is he still within the dream? 
those are all big questions because you could really go any way you wanted. But part of me, guys, part of me actually just wants Tenet to be its own thing. Because that's what has made Christopher Nolan, Christopher Nolan, is, you know, you just make these movies, and some of them are cliffhangers, some of them aren't, but some of them are cliffhangers, and there's a, like, an okay element to that, where it's, it's just, look, like, we want you, I, I'm, I gave you this movie, it's up to you to interpret how it ends, and, and all of those things, because he doesn't give answers, he doesn't tell you what happens, uh, and that's what makes Christopher Nolan such a great director. He creates these incredible stories, and sometimes he leaves them on these cliffhangers, sometimes he doesn't. I mean, like, let's even go back to The Dark Knight Rises, the cliffhanger that was left off there. You know, Batman's done, Robin's taken the helm, and, and, and you know, and that completely opened up the DCU, uh, or the DCEU, for Warner Brothers, and of course they messed it up. Of course they did. I'm not going to get on a significant rant here, but but the idea, though, guys, is that he kind of left that on a cliffhanger. It was like, oh, Joseph Gordon, Joseph Gordon Levitt is Robin. Let's go. Like, you know, this is going to be awesome to see like where they go with this. Is Christopher Nolan going to continue it? And he didn't. He didn't continue it. And he just did his own thing. It seemed. Like, he didn't want to be a part of, you know, be involved with any more, like, superheroes or, like, you know, franchises like that. He just wanted to do his own original stuff. And after those Batman movies, he was able to do whatever the heck he's wanted to, and every single one of his movies that's come out has been successful. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I A part of me says that this is going to be absolutely incredible incredible i think tenet is going to be something that we're going to talk about once again for a long time like we've talked about interstellar for a long time we talked about inception for a long time i think tenet is another one of those that we're just going to talk about for years to come after we see it we're going to want to see it multiple times and uh i i think there's going to be real replay value there and i think christopher nolan's going to hit it hit it out of the park again but I wouldn't be surprised if this is a movie that is more polarizing, whereas there's kind of people are on one side or the uh, one side of the fence or another. Because we're, we live in a time where it seems, since one of these types of movies have come out from Christopher Nolan, it, it seems to me that everyone's so divided on everything. Everything in society, it's it's divided, right? Like everyone has a side. Everyone wants to have a voice or wants to be heard or, um, you know, has their own opinions. I mean, we can see it from just the rise of Skywalker, the newest Star Wars movie, where it was so divided on, you know, some people loved it. Some people just hated it, you know, and, and there wasn't really much in between. Some people, you know, it, it just seemed like everyone was on one side, one extreme or another, Tenet, I think, might be Christopher Nolan's first movie that is very divided. It's very divisive on what people think, especially if this is a sequel to one of those movies, Interstellar or Inception. Part of me thinks that it's going to be a, a sequel. Part of me thinks it's just going to be a standalone movie. But I would love to hear from you all. Do you think that Tenet is a sequel to Interstellar or Inception, or do you think it's going to be a sequel to one of his other movies in the past, or do you think it is just a movie, a standalone movie, all on its own? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and let's have a real conversation about it.